Super friends, and welcome back to Mike Meeple's Beginner Miniature Painting Tutorials. Today, we're starting work on Deceased, a Zombicide game by Come On Games. With the Deceased Kickstarter currently underway, I figured I'd get the show started properly with Batman. This particular model is part of the Dark Knight's Metal Pack for Zombicide 2.0, but the Deceased Kickstarter will ship with crossover cards to let these models take on the anti living. I'll be starting off by priming the model with a zenithal highlight, and if you're unfamiliar with that technique, make sure you check out my tutorial to see just how to do that. Once it's all dry, it's time to start base coats. We'll actually be starting with some deep yellow by Vallejo, and using that to paint the outline of the bat logo on his chest and the utility belt. After that, take some neutral gray by Vallejo and paint the costume. Then, use some German gray by Vallejo to paint the cape cowl, gloves, and boots. Once you've done that, you can very carefully use some of that same color to paint the bat logo itself on the chest and the black centers of the utility belt pouches. Next, mix together some royal purple by Vallejo and some black in about a 5 to 1 ratio and paint the inside of the cape. Moving on, take some topaz skin by the army painter and paint Bruce's face. After that, we can use some chocolate brown by Vallejo and paint the axe handles. Before getting some dark sand by Vallejo and painting the wrapping around the handles. Next, we can use some plate mail metal by the army painter to paint the blades of the axes. And we'll finish off base coats by using some neutral gray to paint the base Batman is standing on. Once that's all dry, it's time for shades. We'll be starting off with some soft skin wash by the Army Painter and applying a thin layer to Batman's face. Then we'll take some light tone by the Army Painter and apply some to the utility belt and the yellow outline of the Bat logo. After that, we'll grab some Null Oil by Citadel and apply that to the rest of the model, including the scenic base.
And when that's dry, it's time for highlights and finishing touches. We're going to start off with some of that topaz skin and use that to highlight some of the face, specifically the chin and some of the exposed cheekbones. To add a second highlight to the face, we'll use Ruby Skin by the Army Painter and paint a smaller portion of what you just highlighted. Next, we'll use our Neutral Gray to highlight the costume, painting the portions that bulge out, such as the muscles. Mix together equal parts Neutral Gray and Sky Gray by Vallejo to add a second level of highlight. and add a third level of highlight with some pure sky gray. You should also take this time to dry brush some sky gray over the base as well. Then you can start highlighting the cape, cowl, and boots, mixing together German gray and neutral gray and painting the portions that billow outward on the cape. Also take special care around the eyes of the model, adding a highlight to the cheek, brow, and jawline on the side. For a second level of highlight, add a bit of sky gray to that mix. To highlight the inside of the cape, we'll just use some Royal Purple by Vallejo. Next, we'll take some Moon Dust by the Army Painter and highlight the yellow portions, just providing an edge highlight on the utility belt and on some points of the Bat logo. After that, take some Flat Earth by Vallejo and paint a highlight along the top edge of the axe handles.
and you can add another highlight using Cork Brown by Vallejo. The last thing we'll be doing is using some Ivory by Vallejo to add a highlight to the wrap around the handles and to add in some eyes. Then you'll just want to paint the base black and spray it with your matte spray. And that's it! I want to give a big shout out to all of my patrons whose generous support helped me make quality content like this. And if you're interested in becoming a patron yourself, information on how to do so can be found in the description for this video, along with links to all my supplies that I use today, and a link to my blog where you'll find more tutorials for games like Deceased. And if you like this video and would like to see more, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you stay tuned. Same Mike Meeple time, same Mike Meeple channel.